While female firefighters are becoming more common, women still make up just 4% of the fire force. And two firefighters in Carbondale want to change that and encourage teen girls to sign up. News 3's Madeline Parker has more. I love it. Best job in the world. Courtney Luft and Abby Burnham are the only women firefighters for the city of Carbondale. Who knew for a long time their job was the career for them? My father is a firefighter, or was a firefighter, he retired. And I just grew up in that environment of being around the fire service, and it was a blast to be around. I had a similar experience as Courtney. My dad was also a fireman, he's retired now. Uh, spent a lot of time around the fire station as a kid. Didn't really know much different from it. Decided I didn't want a typical desk job, and I figured might as well go into the family business. The love of their career made them want to help other young girls join the force. I was fortunate enough to have my father, who was a firefighter, help, like I said, encourage me and step into that field. I want to give other young women the opportunity to do the same, especially the ones that don't have anyone that's involved with fire, the fire service. Program is called Bad Axe Ladies, a job shadowing program for girls 16 and older to learn the ins and outs of firefighting. And business teacher Jenna Jamison says the program is more popular than she initially thought. I'll be honest, I was surprised at how much interest there was. I put it in the announcements and there was, the next day I had emails, I had phone calls, I had students coming in just to ask me, oh, where's the application, can I get one? So I think there is a larger interest than I realized. And for the young women who are nervous about joining the male-dominated field, both Luft and Burnham say, don't let it stand in your way. You can do this job the same as any man can. It's about working your body to its own advantage and figuring out what way works best for you. In Carbondale, Madeline Parker, News 3. Right now, the program's only open to Carbondale High School students, but the organizers want to consider expanding it to other schools. 